Hey y'all, it's Ricky T and I'm coming to you from my dining room. It's Christmas Eve night. It's going on 11 o'clock. It's been a busy day, a busy evening. Had a great time with family at my parents' house to do my side of the family. We'll be doing Ellen's side of the family tomorrow and our own household before that in the morning. So first of all, Merry Christmas to everybody. We've got the last of the world of beer um, reviews and we're going to finish it off. It's going to be a dynamic duo, baby. Yeah. I got my guest reviewer, the man himself, yep. Hunter Mendel, baby. What's up, brother? I'm here. All right. Here so, is. so we took it down to the last one. This is going to be very intriguing. This one I've been looking at since. August or whenever we bought this uh, kit of beers mm -hmm. and here we are on Christmas Eve We're gonna close it out on Christmas Eve, baby. So this is called Lindemann's Frambois Raspberry Lambic beer. Looky there. We got the bottle beautiful bottle. It almost looks like a mini Wine bottle if you ask me yeah. this sucker is low alcohol It's only 2.5 ABV um, I'm not expecting this to really taste much like a beer I don't know, I've never had a Lambic of any kind. I'm guessing, totally a guess, I'm guessing it's gonna be more like a, like a wine and only because it's like got fruit in it and the bottle looks like a mini um, wine bottle. That's really the only reason I'm making that guess. Um, they do make this in several flavors, cherry, um, raspberry, apple, peach, yada, 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 a few other flavors. Never had it, so we're gonna we're gonna try to un. Um, do first of all, we got to take this paper off, as you can see. So it is, from what I understand, it's kind of a pain in the ass to get this thing rolling because after I get that off, then I got to take a bottle opener and take the cap off. I thought it was corked, but it's not. It's not. It's not corked. Now they do make these in a 750 milliliter which is more like the size of a wine bottle, those are probably the ones that are corked. So, again, there's the bottle. No, 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 get this. I got that over there for a reason. Hannah's over here messing, messing things up. We do have our um, Christmas vacation glasses. I got mine right here. Hunter has his. There you go. We're gonna pour this and see what the hell happens. You can pour yours while I'm pouring mine. It, Oh yeah, he hasn't cracked his open yet. So it's red. It's hard to tell the color because my glass is colored, but it's red. The drink is red. I'm gonna nose it while he's pouring his. A little bit of head, not a lot of head. Let's see that, okay. Pink, pink head. Yeah, the, the head is pink, yeah. If you're Protestant, Baptist, kind of smells like communion. I was gonna say, I'm not getting my coffee. No, it's not a lot. It's, but it is a sweet, it's sweet, it's fruity. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a slight yeast. Okay, I'm not getting the yeast. Raspberry, I almost want to say grape, but, but it's not. It's, it's, yeah. it's a, definitely a berry. It definitely smells good. Um, and definitely sweet. So that's that's um, that's the aroma. Anything else from you? Nope. That's about it. I'm not smelling any alcohol like that or anything like that. So here we go. Let's have a couple of tastes. Cheers. We're gonna have a couple of sips and see what we got. Mm. That's delicious. <laughs> yeah, that's like a carbonated raspberry soda. Yeah. That's like a, that's, that's, oh my gosh. I'm getting the sourness though. Like. The, the sourness coming more on the back end. Uh -huh. And I'm getting on the side and the bottom of my tongue, it feels like. So that last one I did that I'm not going to try to pronounce, the yeah. Flemish beer, the Flemish, um, was it a Flemish red? What? Yeah, it was a Dubois, amber. blah, 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 blah. Going, well, I don't know what it was. Amber I, red. I had said that was my favorite one. We saved this one for last on purpose because we thought it would be our favorite one, and it is. Let's have, let's have another sip and see if we get anything else here. Mm. 
Just raspberry. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting just, like now that it's my second drink, I'm getting just a very light carbonation. Mm -hmm. The carbonation is a little less than that first sip for me. I don't know about you. Definitely like a raspberry soda. And almost like maybe five to 10 seconds in, right on the side of my tongue and underneath. And then as it goes back, back. Yeah. I get that like Sour Patch Kid candy thing. It's, yeah. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, I'm, I'm like dominating. What? Tell me, tell me what you got. Definitely like like you're eating a sour candy on the back of the throat. Like it's just and like in the sides of the tongue. Yeah, so you're getting it's sweet and sour, sour sweet yeah. and sour, and straight up sweet things. sour fruity raspberry. Mm -hmm. My opinion, absolutely delicious. Yeah, it's very good. I love this. I might buy a big bottle. <laughs> might have to buy different flavors too because mm -hmm. this one's good. But I want to try like the cherry and. Right. So when you talk about candy flavors, raspberry has always been one of my favorite flavors. I've also always liked green apple and watermelon. Can't go wrong. Which I don't, they don't make this in watermelon, but they do make um, whatever the other one I just said. Um, cherry, cherry. Peach, apple. Yeah, the apple. Raspberry. So, so I think I'd probably definitely want to try the cherry and the yeah, apple. This would be great. Personally, I'm not a peach guy. The girls, they like peach. Maybe I'll get a little bottle if the girls try it. Mm -hmm. But this, I mean, as you can see, look, just on the review, I just got that much left. Mm -hmm. This is great. This is great. Next time I go to um, Total Wine, I'm probably going to pick up some of this. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. Absolutely. This, wow. I, I just can't tell you how delicious it is. So that's my take. This is a lot smaller than the other beers that we drink, though. Yeah, because you guys saw, like, it only went up to, like, yeah. here, where the rest were coming up, mm -hmm. and if you poured it wrong, it would go over because of, yeah. of the head, but um, this has, this is absolutely fantastic. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to keep you guys forever. You get it. You understand what I'm saying. Recommend, for sure. Yeah, I think Hunter. <laughs> so, Hunter, he's just turned 21. Wow, when was it? August. So In like, August, so he's not been drinking for I'm a long new, time. <laughs> yeah, but what I have found going through all these beers of every different variety of beer that there is, that uncannily, just as a coincidence, I guess. We have very similar tastes. We have very similar tastes. <laughs> we really do. Um, most of the beers that I've really liked, he's really liked. Um, he, like me, has not liked the um, Any, like, high IPA, the IPAs with the high um, hops. hops. Um, he enjoy, he very much enjoyed the um, the wheat beers, in particular the Heffy. Yep. As a matter of fact, I think um, we may have to go to um, Total Wine or somewhere and get some of that um, Spaten. Heffy, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so this is the last one. Um, delicious. I'm gonna finish this. I'm probably just gonna oh, drink it when it says over. But so here's what I'm. Here's what's up next. I think I'm gonna do. Um, me and a buddy of mine was talking back in the '90s. Like that's been 20, 30, 25, 30 years, 30, 35 years ago. I drank a lot of beer. And as life has gone on, I've progressed up. I drink more whiskey now than anything else and rum-based cocktails. But we used to drink a ton of beer. And there were certain beers back in the 90s that we drank a lot of. So I think I'm going to do a beers of the 90s. The beers that Ricky T drank along with his buddies, Andy and everybody else. Um, the only problem with that is they don't make some of them anymore. Um, God rest its soul on like the dry beers, mid nineties, the dry beers are famous. It's hard to find those. Molten ice is gone. We drink a ton of molten ice. So damn good. I don't, I don't know why they got rid of it and discontinued it, but I think that's what I'm going to do next is some of the beers of the nineties. Um, still to this day, I love Mick Amber Bach. I got him on it. He likes it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do next, but Despite that, today it was the Linemans Flambois Raspberry Lambic Beer. Absolutely delicious. So, Merry Christmas and God bless America.